Lesson 8.4, Measure with an Inch Ruler. We can use an inch ruler to measure lengths. We line up the left side of the object with the zero mark on the ruler. Then we find the inch mark that is closest to the other end of the object. For this lesson, we will need our color tile rulers from video 8.2 and an inch ruler. If you haven't made a color tile ruler, that's okay. An inch ruler will work. You may notice that some rulers will have a zero here on its first mark, and some will just have a line. That first line is the zero mark. We can draw a one inch rectangle using our color tile ruler that we made in video 8.2. If you don't have one, you can use a one inch ruler. What we do is on the first mark, we draw a line. And on the second mark, we draw a line. And then we can take our ruler away and connect them to make our rectangle. Now we've made a one inch rectangle, okay? Then, without the ruler, we're going to take this ruler away. Without the ruler, we can use the one inch long rectangle as a guide to draw a two inch and three inch rectangle. So if that's one inch, we could draw a two inch one. It would be two times as long, wouldn't it? It would look like two of them. So that would be two inches. And they're not gonna be exact, but they're gonna be close. And we can try drawing one that's three inches. It's gonna be three of those, right? If that's two, then maybe that's three. Then we can get an idea of the length of one inch, two inches, three inches, and these are just estimates, right? We could check them. Let's see how close I got. Oh, look, I got pretty close to the two inch one. I went a little too long, but it was close. How about my three inch one? That one was a little long also, but it's very close to three inches. We can measure objects to their nearest inch. We line up this purple line with the zero mark on the ruler. Notice that I don't have the end of the ruler with the end of the purple line. I lined it up with the zero mark. We look at this end over here and we see, is it closer to six inches, seven inches or eight inches? It's very close to seven inches and it's closer to seven inches than it is to six inches. So the purple line measures seven inches to the nearest inch. And remember, we count the spaces between the marks for the number of inches. This is one, two, three spaces. It's three inches. This first mark is zero and the second mark is one inch, and the third mark is two inches. So some, somebody might make the mistake of looking at a ruler and thinking, oh, I'm counting lines, and they'll count one, two, three, four lines, and they'll think that this is four inches because there's four lines. So be very careful to remember that the first mark is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, so actually we're counting the spaces in between for how many inches. This is telling us to use a one inch ruler to measure the line to the nearest inch. So we can use a one inch ruler. We line our ruler up with zero with the end of the object. So see how the ruler is sticking out a little bit past the object? Is this closer to three inches or four inches? 
If you said three inches, you're right. This green line is closer to the three than it is to the four. Let's try measuring the yellow one. We line it up with zero. Do you think the yellow line is closer to five inches or six inches? If you said six inches, you're right. It's very close to the six. Let's try it again. Let's measure the orange line. We're gonna line up our ruler with the left end of the object so that the ruler and the object are at zero. And here's four inches, here's five inches, here's six inches. To the nearest inch, how long do you think the orange line is? If you said five inches, you're right. It's very close to the five inch mark right here. Let's try the green one. We line up the left side of the green line with the zero mark. Do you think it's closer to six inches, seven inches, or eight inches? If you said seven inches, you're correct. It's very close to the seven inch mark. The longest mark on a ruler shows inches. This one is the longest mark. It's showing the inches. And the medium mark, see how there's a medium length mark here and then there's a really short one? The medium mark shows half of an inch. And the half inch mark is exactly in the middle between the inch marks. It's exactly in the middle. So here's one inch, here's two inches, the half inch mark is exactly in the middle between one and two. It's exactly between the middle between zero and one. This blue line is two and a half inches long. It's very important to line up the object with zero. If we don't line up with zero, with the zero mark, we'll have a wrong measure. This purple line was lined up with the edge of the ruler instead of the zero. And if we wanted to see its measure to the nearest inch, we can see the halfway mark right here. So it looks like it's closer to nine than it is to 10. But if we line it up correctly with the zero mark and we move the ruler over, we can see that it's really closer to 10. So it's very, very important that we line it up with zero so that we get the correct measure. When we line it up with zero on this side, it's a little more than the halfway mark. It went past this halfway mark just a little bit. So it's closer to 10 inches. This one's asking us to find how much longer is the blue line than the green line? We can take our inch ruler and measure the green line by lining it up with zero on our ruler. And we can see it's four inches long. It's one, two, three, four inches long. We take our ruler, we line it up to the zero mark with the blue line. And we can see that this one is six inches long. So do you know the answer? The blue line is two inches longer. We know because we measured, this is four inches, this is six inches. Make sure to line them up correctly. Here I have a pipe cleaner taped to my board and it's asking us how long is the red pipe cleaner? but we can see it's shaped in a bend, in an angle. What we can do is use the ruler twice. We can line up this top part of the pipe cleaner with zero, and we can see that it's five inches for the top part. We line it up again for the bottom part with zero, and we can see that's five inches. Five inches plus five inches is 
10 inches. We just used the ruler twice. We measured the top part, lining it up at zero. Then we measured this part, lining it up at zero. And we added the two measures together to get the total measure. So I know I said it a lot, but I just wanna make sure you remember to line up the object with the zero mark on the ruler. Our next lesson, 8.5, we're gonna be solving word problems with addition and subtraction of inches. Have a really good day and keep trying your best. Bye.